Hello everyone and welcome to Sandra's Crafting Corner. If you would, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. Also like, comment, and share. This week's video is part of a Nailed It or Failed It challenge hosted by Mama Dares to DIY Carrie and the Sweet Urban Rose Keisha. And at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you, did I nail it or fail it? The items you'll need are these dimensions that I will have listed in the description box, two sets of these drawer pulls that I found on Amazon, and then spray painted them black. Something to cut wire with, drill bits, a drill, Is optional but a brad nailer so you don't have to nail them in individually, a sheet of luon or a piece of poster board even, a measuring tape, a hammer just in case those brad nails don't go in, screwdriver small enough for those tiny screws, some wood glue, some lightweight spackling. Here are the colors you'll need from starting at the top, left to right, is chocolate sprinkle, came in blue, white, real red, classic caramel, real green, Atlantis, deep purple and mineral. Other paint colors I used are truffle and this black and real blue. Wood supplies you'll need are these one gallon paint stirrer sticks, nine of these wooden boxes from Dollar Tree, and a two by four by one half inch piece of plywood. You also need a paintbrush to paint with. Phew! And now on with the craft video. In these little cups of water, I added white and chocolate sprinkle to one of them. For the second color, I used the Cayman Blue. In the third one, the White. For the second row, first one, I used this Real Red. a little bit of chocolate sprinkle just to bring down the color a bit. Next color is this classic caramel. And the third one in this row is the real green. I added a little chocolate sprinkle to this one too. For the bottom row, first one, I use this Atlantis. For the next one, I use this deep purple. I will eventually dull it down with some black. For the last one, this mineral. Now that we have that all mixed up, I'm going to take the interior parts of the boxes and paint them on each side 
inside and out, each box having a different color, of course. Continue painting each box inside and out with a different color and we'll be right back. See, I told you I'd be right back. Here they all are, finished. I painted the exterior boxes with the antique wax from Waverly, but that's an unnecessary step. Here are all the pieces cut out and I'm going to sand them using my orbital sander, but you can use just plain sandpaper if you'd like. After sanding down all the wood pieces, it's now time to assemble. I started at the bottom corner, making sure that everything was square. Then I did the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to put the exterior part of the boxes together as well as the small inserts to make sure everything fits right. to the second level. I'm going to glue and nail every step of the way. going to repeat the steps with the next layer. going to do the exact same thing with these top three boxes. And now all that's left is to put the top on. Then the inside portion of the box is done. Here it is 
is completed without the very top piece on. I'm going to be using these paint sticks as kind of a veneer over the plywood so you don't see all the layers. I put the inner boxes in just to make sure that I wasn't going to block them coming out. Now I'm applying the long insert covers. When trying to cut off the paint sticks, I accidentally cut into the board as you can see, so I just made a new top to go over it. Now that it's all assembled, I'm going to sand it, and then I'm going to spackle in all the cracks and nail holes. Oops, I forgot to add the small insert covers. There we go, much better. Now here's the scary part for me. I love the look of distressing, but I have never done it myself. I've always been too afraid to mess up my project. So first, I'm adding the Waverly Antique Wax and some water just to make it look used. And then I will go in with a little bit of mineral on certain colors just to make it look warm. apologize for the look of my shirt. I am completely covered in sawdust and it was like a hundred degrees in the garage in the St. Louis area. It is very humid so I was sweating a bit. So it's a little dirty. Now it's time to paint the cabinet. I wanted to use the antique wax, but there was too much spackling, so I couldn't do that. So I decided to go with truffle and a little bit of black. The inspiration piece was darker than the Waverly wax anyway, so I wanted to match it as close as possible. Due to the studio lighting, the color looks really light, but I promise you it's not. So I made a little template with this frog tape 
It's just so I would know where to line up all the holes on each one of these boxes. Here are the little drawer pulls I bought off of Amazon and then spray painted black. I used this sharpie to mark where the screws poked out inside the box. That way I knew exactly where to cut them, using this as a wire cutter. Now I'm going to use my template to mark the holes, clip the screws on the inside, drill the holes, I'll add a little fix all to the screws and screw them on. Now here is the inspiration piece from Wayfair for $315. Sure, it's a little bit bigger, but even if I made it bigger, it still wouldn't cost that much for me to do it myself. And here you go. Here's the finished result. What do you think? Did I nail it or fail it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching my video and please let me know what you think below.